Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> Why is my voice cracking? Anyway, if you're new here, I'm Danielle. I am a travel, lifestyle, fashion content creator. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. We are here today because we are about to head to the airport because we have another trip under our belt. Um, we're heading to the airport now. I just finished work and we are going to Arizona. Um, so I'm gonna obviously show you guys everything. Stay tuned for the rest of the vlog and see you later. because tomorrow starting tomorrow we have like a full itinerary but I'm out to work we should be going to dinner tonight and we might like hit up some stores if you know what I mean um, I haven't showed you guys the Airbnb oh my gosh I need to show you guys that it's actually really cute um, I'm gonna show you guys that before it gets super messy the room is already kind of lived in but um, Everything else is super cute. It was so weird last night because we noticed a parked car in the driveway and we were like, is it my ear? But the host said that it's reserved for the guest house or something apparently, I don't know. But anyway, I'm about to just work, unfortunately, and um, hurry up and finish work and enjoy the rest of the trip. <laughs> I am 
semi kind of done with work not really <clears throat> we just came back from the grocery store um i'm so tired like i realized i've been up since 7 30 mountain time which is crazy um i love my nails but tell me why i have to freaking glue this one back i literally brought my uv light and everything if you get nails like this like with crazy designs that could fall off you definitely need this it's a portable uv light i ordered it on amazon right before the trip because i just knew i don't know why the fuck my camera just cut off because my memory card is full that's crazy when i literally yeah, emptied cool. everything but anyway i was showing y'all that i was doing my nails but i'm about to finish that petition for restaurants to change their lighting. Anyway, we are at this place called The Compass in Phoenix. It's at the top of the Hyatt. It's like the 24th floor. And it's so cool because we get a city view, which is really nice. Um, and it's revolving, which is super cool. Yeah, I'll show you guys the view. As you can see behind me. guys so i did my makeup in the car as you can see we are in the parking lot um in front of the office of the antelope canyon tours i'll insert a picture um we're just waiting it feels good to be early i can't lie like we got here um at like 12 45 and um our tour starts at 2, but we had to be here by um, 1.30, so 30 minutes before. And then the shuttle to go to the tour um, leaves at 1.55, so I still have time. I'm so excited. Um, I wasn't going to do my makeup initially, but I was like, you know what? Let me just bring it in the car, like, 
you know, you're on vacation because it doesn't feel like a, a vacation or it didn't feel like a vacation for me because of these last two days that I was working. But I'm like, you're on vacation. It's time to look cute, put an outfit together, you know, do something. I'm going to show you guys my outfit later. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see the views. I think that's what I'm most excited for. And we get to hike a little bit. It's a half a mile. Um, and I believe we are uh, doing the upper level of the we're either doing the upper level or the lower level i'll put it in the screen or whatever but um yeah i'm excited we get to hike see nature see god's creation and yeah i love that for me um so just a quick reminder i'm filming on my phone because i don't feel like bringing my camera off my neck again if you are planning to come to phoenix and doing the antelope canyon tour keep in mind that it's four hours away so it's a four hour drive from phoenix you need to get here early um about 30 minutes before your tour you can book your tour online i'll include a link below in the description box for you to um book the tours and then uh, what else it's a clear bag policy so make sure you have a clear bag or no bag at all you cannot use a fanny pack um you can bring water and you can bring your cameras but no tripods yeah what else am i missing i think that's it um but yeah this is basically like sacred land um, so it's the Navajo, I think it's near like the Navajo reservation or just community overall. Um, but it's so interesting seeing like history and how like indigenous cultures like still remain in, in certain places, um, but are, you know, kind of absent in other places um, because of what history has done. <laughs> but it's really cool to see. <laughs> as I thought it was gonna be it was cold though so I would say if you're coming in February bring like a light jacket but that's thick enough to, to keep you warm not just something thin like this like this is just a suede jacket um but yeah that was really nice we're about to go to Horseshoe Bend actually one of the people on the tour told us about it it's nine minutes away from the Antelope Canyon office so we're just gonna head there which should be fun um but yeah i love nature and i love stuff like this and i love that the tour guide like he was giving us a whole history lesson about how antelope canyon became a thing um and basically it was discovered like by the navajo nation at like a time of attack so it was very interesting that they were able to like find shelter in the canyons and that's what saved them so yeah i found that really super interesting so yeah y'all should totally go if you uh ever come to phoenix Thank <laughs> you. 
horseshoe bend and the view is crazy. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm about to get a video. I'm actually kind of nervous, but I'm still going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm about to take my makeup off in the shower. <laughs> I don't usually do that, but I feel like the way I'm feeling, I do not feel like doing two steps in the sink and the shower, so I'm just gonna do everything in the shower. Um, yeah, no plans for tonight. We're obviously exhausted. I mean, who wouldn't be after hiking two, basically, two landmarks <laughs> um, back to back, so, and driving four hours each way from Phoenix. Yeah, I'm gonna shower, probably watch a movie or something, and then go to sleep. Tomorrow we have massages. The place I booked is a little, it's a little sketchy, so I think I'm gonna find somewhere else to go. <laughs> to be noon we've been up since well i've been up since 7 45 a.m for no reason um but yeah we ate breakfast we have massages today at two we don't really have much planned today i think we're just probably just gonna go to our massages get food and then we might go out tonight to like a bar or something just to catch a little vibe but we shall see let me show you guys where we're staying. So we're about to just walk down the street. Arizona or like Phoenix. Phoenix's infrastructure is so interesting. We just got to this African restaurant called West Hot. West Hut. <laughs> so West Hot. Apparently it's like a restaurant slash lounge. So we should be able to get some light bites and some cute little drinks or whatever. I'll show you guys my fit later, but let's go. Bye.
thick and thin, now he think his dick is embedded. Got to leave his neck on red, I'ma let him know that I read it. Make it in the Hey guys, it's Saturday. It's our last day. Um, we're about to go to brunch at this black owned restaurant called Breakfast Bitch, I believe. Um, last night was actually pretty fun. If you come to Phoenix, make sure you guys check out like the bars in Scottsdale. Um, I believe we went to this like strip of bars on Saddlebag Trail. I think that was the name of it. But it was a cute little vibe. It reminded me of college. There were so many people. But um, yeah, it was fun. The music was good. The drinks were good. And it was just a nice time to walk around. We didn't get home till like 1.30 or so. I was knocked the fuck out afterwards. Um, but yeah, we're about to get brunch. We just parked. I think he's trying to figure out parking. I'm trying to figure out if I should bring my camera in. I think I want to, but yeah. I will see you guys later. We're just waiting for our reservation. I think we have like a 25 minute wait left. Take the pictures. It's a cute little area. This is downtown. because we're about to go watch the sunset isn't that so cute we're going to <laughs> we're going to um south mountain park i believe i saw this on um tiktok where like you could just drive up and you get like a really nice view um yeah i think it's like the perfect activity for our last night we didn't really want to do like too much turn up or whatever since we're leaving tomorrow um but yeah, I think it would be a cute little vibe. Of course, I'm going to show you guys the view and everything, but we'll see you there. to the top guys I'm trying to preserve my battery though so I can't really talk too much
It's our last day. We're about to leave. I'm just eating breakfast before checkout. It is, what time is it? 10.49. Checkout is in 10 minutes, but we are all packed up and ready to go. It was a fun little trip. Last night was fun. We watched the sunset um, on Dobbin's Lookout, which I'm sure y'all saw already. But it was a cool little vibe. Arizona is cool. Like if I lived here, I was just saying earlier that I would go hiking probably every weekend or every other weekend or so. Like, I really like that. Like outside nature of outside of the summertime. Well, summertime I would just wear long sleeves, but it would be hot as fuck, yeah. Like Aruba, I wore long sleeves. I pray this could break for me And more clear I call that I'm believe freedom Ways of the world Cause you were ready to go We have to drop the rental car off at one but we have like two hours, so we might just like go chill and go shopping or something. I don't know, but we'll see. Hey guys, so we're still at the airport. We got here, what time did we get here? We got here like, well, we got, yeah, we got to the rental place at one-ish and then we got to the airport at 1.30. Yeah, we had to take the shuttle and then come to our gate. I just had, <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from the mall. This was definitely an impulse buy, but it was on sale, so don't judge me. waiting to board our flight it's 402 right now so we have until 4 30 to start boarding uh, but yeah I'm tired I'm probably gonna sleep on the plane said it already a million times be sure to comment like and subscribe I definitely will keep up my work ethic and keep up with the consistency on these vlogs um, because I see that you guys are watching and enjoying and I thank you for that I'm grateful so yeah I will see you guys in the next vlog bye Is it cool? Is it cool?